most rare of beasts, a working stand-up comedian who hasn't seriously offended anyone. Will you please welcome <laughs> the fabulous Dara O'Brien? <laughs> Great. Thank you, fellas. Uh, wow, what a sound. Frankly, classier than either of us deserve. Yes. Uh, so. Hey, Dara, uh, well, oh, that was a great piece of acting you did back then. It was, it was, good, a, good, it was good, because I can do a really good Scottish accent, but, but you... I thought that wouldn't be funny, so instead I insulted five million potential <laughs> ticket sales. No, uh, no, it was right. good. It was quite convincing. I was quite uh, won over by it. Thank you very much. Good. Really. Uh, good. You look you look well. You look uh, a little bit fitter than you used to, a little bit healthier. Yeah, a little bit healthier. I got a lot healthier and then I slid back a bit because we were away filming things. And okay, so, so uh, what, what did you do to get healthier? You got to the gym, well, that kind of stuff? Yeah, I do actually. You know, the weird thing is, it was, it was I got I got healthy for a particular reason. I, my cholesterol was, I had Bernays sauce for blood, basically. Okay, so yeah. it was rich my, and there, buttery. There aren't numbers for how high my cholesterol was okay. after 20 years of living like I lived. So, uh, so hold it, how did you find that? You presumably you went for a I went, I went for an MOT, I went, for, I went to the GP. And, and what did he say? He test, and he went and either you go on these things and show me this thing forever or you get your arse to the gym now and again okay. uh, and eat less cheese. Uh, and I did it for a few months and, and stuff fell off. But the weird thing was, I lost weight, David Mitchell lost weight, Stephen Fry lost weight, Johnny Vegas lost weight, um, Matt Lucas lost weight. Suddenly all the comedians lost... And it's like, you know, the way the bees apparently are disappearing and this is an omen <laughs> of something wrong, right? When all the comedians lose weight, yeah, yeah. buy canned goods. Uh, <laughs> because some dis it's some hideous... Oh, I went on, on uh, QI and we worked it out between myself and Mitchell and, and uh, Fry, and predominantly Fry, we had lost 11 and a half stone. Wow. Within three years. So yeah. that's us. That's incredible. But that's not me, that wasn't. That's a predominant. You fry, lost the, the whole way. Howie Hill. Essentially, in the fourth person we could have made him out of bits of our old fat. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> we could have shaped him out of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so, so now you said you got, you kind of got fit, but you, you've yeah, let it go was, a little bit. Yeah, if I was filming. When you're filming Mock the Week or when you're on holiday, when you're filming Three Men in a Boat, which you just came back from doing, you just eat because you're on set. And I mean, there's a picture of you with uh, Rory and Griff Rees Jones. Yeah. Uh, and that's, uh, that, that's a boat I wouldn't care to, to be stuck on. Uh, with, no, with no, I can understand that's that. That's a lot of. Let's Let's face it, elderly testosterone cooking there. <laughs> there is a touch of that. We've done the fourth one of those we just did, we went to Ireland. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I'm not sure if that means it's, it, that closes the whole thing off because I've had my <laughs> little trip to Ireland. Anyway. But we went to Dublin and we went and we brought a greyhound racing and, uh, and ended up in the Aran Islands and we did uh, speedboat racing on the Channel. Various things. It's very funny. So basically, it. it's you guys travelling, exploring the culture, yeah. interacting with one another. Yeah. It is, yeah. You get on well with the other we guys? We generally do. It's very good. I mean, like, there are, I mean, you know, Griff can be intense. Uh, I, I, I'll not say he's not. I he's, mean, he can be quite grumpy, can't he? He's, he's famously probably more grumpy than he actually is. Yeah. Although on this trip it was weird because he was, he's about to take a West End role as um, oh, Fagan, isn't it? Fagan in, in Oliver. Yeah. So for the entire trip he was learning off his lines. So we'd be quietly sitting on the way back. And in the background you could hear Griff with headphones going, uh, I'm on you, the situation, da 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 <laughs> And it became really irritating. All Is of which came out during a fencing sequence we did in Trinity where uh, I thought we were just going to mess around with it, and Griff punctured me with the first one, right? <laughs> and then we kind of, we went at it. Like, so you got quite angry? Oh, we just, we, we, we got competitive. But what, uh, was it like quite, you know, good soul player? Was it just... No, like it wasn't that? like, you know, oh, slappy, slappy, slap, slap. Yeah. At one stage I went, I, I lunged, oh, which is all in the... Like yeah, that, yeah. right? And he turned to avoid the lunge. Wow. And the blade went down through the metal jacket oh. and just across the... Gentle, I'm, I'm, not, I'm making this too vivid. Uh, and uh, <laughs> we generally pointed to it, but we, we had to extract my sword. So the sword, your from sword, his groin. You, you almost cut Griff off in his prime. Essentially, yeah. Uh, I think Griff has done most of his breeding, unless there's a huge bit of news. <laughs> but, so, uh, but imagine how grumpy he would have been then on the rest of the boat. Yeah, trip. and I was at the very start. It would have been a narky <laughs> ten days in Ireland uh, with, <laughs> with one bollock Griff. Uh, <laughs> Um, OK, yeah, you're on the road at the moment, are you touring at the moment? I tour, I tour again in the new year. I'm currently in the, in the writing stage. I go back out on the road in January in Ireland, then to the UK, March, April, May, with the new show. OK, uh, now how is it for you writing new material? What do you do? Do you have a specific list of topics that you try and find something funny about, or is it stuff that occurs to you when you're travelling, when you're on the road, on a day? What day happens day? is, I, go, I sit in a room, uh, I open a bottle of wine, uh, I start drinking, right? After about two glasses, I've kind of 
getting a bit merry, forgetting who I am, I start reacting to myself. Right. In right. a kind of a, that's very funny. I know, you're mad. You're mad too, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then the stuff goes down. I know, but you can do that, you can do that. Like, and you just get a bit silly and you start writing stuff down, right? And then you, so you've got a, a window between glasses three and four where funny stuff kind of happens, right? Because right. okay. so it's just a small gap. It's, it's a tiny window, yeah. right? And then you hit glass five, yeah. right? At which point, nothing good is coming out, right? You just sit in an office with loads of people, pa piece of paper in front of you, drinking, going, I used to be so funny. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and you drink the end of the bottle, reflecting, <laughs> reminiscing about how amusing you used to be two glasses ago. So you have to, there's a cut-off point where you can't write funny material anymore. That's it, yeah, okay. yeah. No, you can, of course, do it without drink. That yeah. isn't an advocate. OK, uh, now, uh, let me ask you about the book. Uh, Dawa has a book out, and who, who, what perfect timing. It's just in time for Christmas. Remarkable, that is. How did that happen? Uh, yeah. uh, it's called Tickling the English. Now, this isn't an autobiography, is it? No, it's, it's not. A different sort it's of not. Thing. It is almost uniquely for a comedian writing a book, <laughs> not an autobiography. OK, right? well, the idea is you're, you're looking at us, essentially, aren't you? You're yeah, there is a touch. I mean, I travel this country, and I've been to every town and the place, and I've seen lots of people and talked lots of people, and I yeah. gather together loads of stories on the road, right, which are worth telling, right? But as well as that, you kind of intrigue me as a people. Right? Now, why is that? Because I'm fascinated by the Irish. That's interesting. OK, yeah. as is that woman over there. That uh, one person. Uh, well, we're going home later together to talk about the Irish. Yeah. <laughs> well, enjoy, because that's all you get is talk. Uh, <laughs> 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 As a foreigner living here, as an Irish person living here, if you could be very glib about it, right? The Irish is, uh, the Ar Ireland is a small country that talks itself up. Yeah. England is a big country that talks itself down. Right, that's intriguing to me, right? So you think we, we put ourselves down? We yeah, don't... you do. You get stuff done here. You get remarkable stuff done here. It's like whatever you're doing, the first socialised medical scenes, you have brilliant media, you host Olympics, but you can never let yourself admit to that, right? The, uh, it is remarkable the level to which, just in terms of the media and the way you talk about yourselves, you're much happier giving out and saying how bad things are in this country rather than saying how good they are. And that's quite interesting. And useful in some ways uh, as well, as a kind of a self-deprecating... Where thing. do you think that comes from? Is it just our design not to be seen to be boastful? or is Possibly. It a... it, 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 it's, it's linked in with the fact that you're such a good nation for comedy. I mean, that's what we all come from all over the world to do comedy here. I think that can't be not linked to the fact that you're so self-deprecating. Uh, and there may be an element of people pine for colony and, 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 and the old days. You're very nostalgic. Some of you are very nostalgic. But the fact remains you get loads of stuff done. Right. I mean, but it is... It, it's a, the best way to put it is, the life expectancy in this country is the same as most of the countries in the world. So it's 79, right? Which is a phenomenally long amount of time. That's pretty good. It's very good, right? And twice as long as it was 200 years ago, right? It's phenomenally good, right? And the last figures that came out went on about this as well. But you're the only country, I think, in the world that would announce something like that. Something like, you have pushed back the Grim Reaper. Yeah, you we, have we, defeated we have longer death lives. Yeah. itself. You are the only country that would run that story under the headline, Pensions Time Bomb. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, in a nutshell. Uh, it's, it's so that's the problem right there. We're, we're